Hi everyone, my name is Chris Petrelli. I'm the executive director of Hendrix Live, Hendrix County's new home for local, regional, and national art and entertainment, opening in the spring of 2024 in downtown Plainfield, Indiana. I'm joined here today by Kent McPhail, town councilman for the town of Plainfield, and Andrew Klinger, town manager for the town of Plainfield. Welcome both. Thank you. Uh, Andrew, this is part of a much larger downtown redevelopment project, is that right? It is, Can yeah. you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so uh, it goes back almost about five years now. Um, we actually had private developers approach us and wanted to know, uh, that, well, they were interested in doing projects in downtown Plainfield. Uh, and we said, well, hold on, let us do some planning. Let's have some public input on what we want to see out of our downtown. And so that's really what kind of kicked off the planning process and uh, got it all started. Great. And what is the big goal with the downtown redevelopment plan? So a number of things came out of the planning process um, and things like we want more parking or we need an entertainment draw that would you know draw people into the downtown community, which obviously then led to this idea of an art center. Um, so we also looked at where would be appropriate sites for development and how could we tie new development into our existing historic core because we have a great uh, downtown core already. We just want to build on it. We want to make it better. And so those were some of the things that came out of the planning process. Great. Kent, you've been a longtime resident of Plainfield. How do you think this revitalized downtown will affect residents? Well, you know, we've always prided ourselves in, uh, in providing amenities for our community. And this just provides another amenity to add to the, the other activities we have. The public input section, as, as Andrew uh, referenced, uh, the citizens said, we'd like to have some entertainment and dining downtown. Mm -hmm. So uh, Andrew, actually, I have to give him credit. He, he sketched this, this this building out on a piece of napkin one day. <laughs> and uh, he said, I, I think we can combine these two amenities together, the government center and the performing arts center. So, now, there's already been so much activity that's already happened with downtown, the Pruitt Theater um, and other venues, uh, restaurants and, and shops. What can we expect from this plan over the next year or two or even five or 10? Yeah, so it's actually a 20-year plan when we do these sorts of plans. We're looking out to the future, uh, and I think this one was a 20-year plan, and we're about five years into it, and there's a lot that's already happened in, in five years, right? So um, we did, of course, get some private investment. The Barlow project came in, uh, and that was done by a private developer. Um, we were able, the town was able to, and Kent was a big part of this, being able to acquire the Pruitt Theater, which was really the only... Uh, empty building in downtown at the time that we did the study. Uh, the town was able to acquire that and we've worked with a local development group uh, to revitalize that and, and next month, with just weeks away, they will be opening up a high-end uh, restaurant and, and bar in that space and so we're very excited about that. Of course we did address the parking issue with a new parking structure, 250 space parking structure. It was one of the first dominoes to fall. And then, of course, the government center, uh, we were able to complete that project as, uh, you know, really to, to be able to set the stage for the art center that's to come. And there's been a number of other infrastructure related projects uh, addressing some of the infrastructure throughout downtown as well. But there's a lot more to come. We expect more private investment in the future. Um, there's more work to be done on some of the infrastructure to improve some of the roadways and utilities. And so there's a number of things that are still in the plans for, for the future. Right. Well, there's just so much happening in, here in Plainfield, not just in downtown, but all of Plainfield and Hendricks County in general. So we thank you all so much for joining us here today. Thank you to Andrew and Kent. Be sure to check out our website at HendricksLive.org. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Hendrix Live Inc. Thank you all.